two weeks. It's actually a whole bunch nicer than what I thought it was going to be. Hello! Super cute. Check shit room and it's probably going to get into a really big mess, but it's cool as. We are here! We just picked up our camper van. It's actually a whole bunch nicer than what I thought it was going to be. So we are heading to Pack and Save to get some some supplies and then we've got to go like the warehouse at Briscoe's to get some pillows and shit and then we're off to Lake Coolerage. Just woken up, I'm in Ashburton, and as you can see, I am all rigged up. It is fucking freezing. But I am not complaining about it being freezing because I like the cold. It is actually really nice and crisp this morning. So it's, yeah, a little bit different to muggy old. It is very much a beautiful day in Ashburton, and we are headed off to Tekapo, so hopefully the weather follows us down. So high, so high, so high, so high, so high. This world isn't big enough to leave it on your own. I see fire in your eyes and I... Like, what actually even is this country that we live in? How beautiful. I need to come down here when all of these lupins are in season. Oh, so pretty! Oh, that was at least fucking <laughs> Look at the view outside our bloody van. This is probably going to be my favourite campground, I think. Oh my god. So cool. I want to be out there on a jet ski. This would be the best, like, to jet ski on. Fun! We are now just off to Tootie Swimming Pool, so Lake Tegapo Springs. Um, and it's literally right next to our um, campground. So I left my bloody GoPro on for like an hour and 30 minutes and ran out the battery. So I couldn't take any GoPro footage of here, but look at how pretty it is. Actually cannot get sick of that view. I can't stop looking at it. 
stiff is not bad either. Hey babe. <laughs> We are cooking our first dinner. It's a real pain in the ass. We might just buy dinner from here on out. <laughs> first little camp dinner, a success. Apart from James's steak was a bit too thick to cook on the gas stove. <laughs> Good morning. Wait until you see the sunrise. Like this just doesn't even do this justice. Holy moly. I just did a little Facebook Live of the sunrise, um, which actually looks exactly like what we're looking at now. So make sure you go have a look. So this is how cold it is this morning, guys. <laughs> it's pretty bloody cold. I can barely feel my fingers. Bye, Tekapo. I am so sad that we're leaving here today. We are headed into Mount Hutt. Um, and we're going to do the Hooker Valley track. So apparently it's just like a really gorgeous like gorgy track kind of thing. So it's a three hour return walk um, and then we head down to Mauraki. <laughs> I say Mauraki. So I'm not sure if any of you guys know, but I am terrified of heights and we're just coming up to a massive bridge that goes across the water. Obviously it goes across the water, but we went across one before and they like bounce as you walk across it. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Don't look down. I can't even look down at the beautiful water, it's so high. Just finished our wee hike. Totally worth it. It took us about maybe three and a half hours because, of course, I stopped for pictures like 17,000 times to James's absolute delight. Um, but yeah, it was so worth it. So beautiful. So now I'm probably going to go and devour an entire bag of chips because I've only had breakfast this morning and I'm starving. And then make our way to Maraki, where we've got dinner booked in at the tavern there and we have a few drinks tonight. Okay, we're up nice and early at Maraki. It's James's bloody work alarm went off at 5 early this morning. I am just in the kitchen. There's like tagging all over the walls for everybody who's been here. It's actually pretty good. We were supposed to be going off the beaten track to a place called Nugget Point, which is about an hour and about 20 minutes drive um, there and then back. And then we were going to Harrington Point, which is on like the peninsula of Dunedin. Um, but we've decided to just cut out Nugget Point because we're a little bit overdriving and we think we just need sort of a break. 
when I say we're overdriving, I mean James is overdriving because it's a pretty big job just by himself and he said he won't let me drive because he doesn't want to die. <laughs> because the van is quite like weird with its gear changing and it's quite like boaty so yeah, don't really want to drive it anyway. So yeah, it'll be nice to sort of spend the day in a city, something familiar, um, as weird as that sounds, we've kind of missed the luxury. So one of my lovely people who watch my Snapchats um, actually lives in Mairaki, so they've advised me that um, low tide is actually 9.30 this morning. This is the time now, um, so it should be fairly there, apparently all of them won't be exposed, but we're still going to give it a go and see what we can see. We're in for another stunner sunrise. Yay! I can see them. We are now at Kartiki Lighthouse. So, should be just as gorgeous. We have just arrived at Larnet Castle, which I wouldn't have known about um, if one of you didn't actually recommend it. So by the way, if you live in any of the places that we're going and you have recommendations, please let me know because these sorts of things are the things that I want to see. But if I don't know that they're here, we won't go to them. So thank you, Sophia, for recommending this one. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Ooh. It was so cool. It was really cool in there. It's amazing how they've restored it all. It must have cost them a freaking fortune from the looks of it when they first bought it. So we just went to Harrington Point. Not gonna lie, probably wasn't worth the 40 minute drive out. Um, we didn't go to the Albatross because we just paid 60 bucks to go to London Castle, so we weren't gonna pay to do that as well. Um, but I feel like if you were going to the Albatross Centre, it would be worth it. Dunedin, you are actually impressing me a lot more than I thought it would. It is a lot prettier than I thought it would be. And the buildings are awesome. We are headed in about half an hour to the Spates Brewery Tour, so that's going to be awesome. So we're getting a taxi so we can have a few drinks. And knowing us, probably going to be a slight bit of one of those nights, if you get what I mean. Meaning tomorrow's probably not going to be the funnest day, but we've just mainly got driving to do tomorrow. And we go up to Nugget Point and then down to Invercargill and Bluff. And then we stay at a little town called Riverton um, before we head out to Tianao and Alma for Town Cruise. So that's going to be awesome. I'm so excited for that. I'm just hoping this weather holds out. <laughs> this is a stubby glove. <laughs> Now, the 
Now we've got to try and eat some dinner. Oh, it's rainy! <laughs> so we paid 60 bucks for the tour and we get obviously the tour and then we get a two course meal and a free drink at Spates, um, at the Spates Our House. So super good value um, and no doubt it's going to be really yummy and I could have another drink. One thing I took from the tour is that the three stars for the space logo is because there was three founders. <laughs> it's super interesting. As you've seen, it's not a nice day down in Dunedin today. We've decided that we're not going to do Nugget Point because it's not um, supposed to be nice weather out there and it's sort of something that it needs to be nice for. So we met a couple of people last night who said there was um, a, cool, a few cool museums down in the Cargill. So we're just going to go straight there and have a look at that considering that's inside stuff. Guys, come on. Oh wow. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> Come back, sunshine. <laughs> is a whole nother level of cold. I can't feel my nose. It's not like cold all the time but the wind is just like ice. shelters along the track as well as notable toilet facilities. One lonely pit stop is all that remains of the original first night hut, which was a anyone since a worker died in 1983. 
The Avalanche Awareness Program was put in place. A set of traffic lights. Now, if the lights are red when we get up to the tunnel, next to the traffic light. Holy moly. Freaking massive. And what we have here in New Zealand, ladies and gentlemen, is a New Zealand fur seal. Now these fellows are just about hunted to extinction back in the 1800s, but the last little bigger mammals, and they come and camp in the fjords here. Now the average weight of these fellows sitting on top of the rock here will come anything between 65 to 75 kg around. Now these falls have a height drop of approximately 152 meters. Now they're glacier fed, snow cap fed, and rain fed. So you've all just been bombarded with a squillion snapchats that I took today um, and just saved them because we didn't have any reception out there. We've just got back from being out um, since 7.30 this morning, um, so this is the time here and we're hungry and we're cold and heading in to get some food and then we're going to go have a nice hot shower, um, like I say on my um, latest Facebook post. We didn't get to see it in its blue sky mirror lake glory, um, but we got to see it as it is majority of the year, rugged as fuck which result in there being a shit ton, like literally hundreds of waterfalls um, coming down all of the mountain. So it just means that we're going to have to come back and spend a couple of days here and obviously just go when it's supposed to be a nice clear day so we can see it like that as well. The tour that we went on was amazing. Um, I don't think we would have had nearly as good a day if we weren't on the tour that we did because we stopped off at a whole bunch of places, went on a whole bunch of walks. Our guide that we had was really cool, he was really funny, so he educated us a lot on what sort of we were passing and all that kind of stuff, so yeah, that really made the day, I think. Good morning, everybody. I have just woken up, and we can finally see shit. The low cloud has finally disappeared. I am so excited for the sun to rise so I can see this properly. I've been hanging out to see this for two days. We are just stopping to get some breakfast and a coffee at this place here. This is the second time we've been here now because it's so good. They make such good pies. the very bottom of Lake Wakatipu, well technically that down there is because that's Kingston and it's pretty beautiful currently 
sitting in the first bit of traffic we've experienced like since we've been down in the South Island and it is booked. When I was planning where we were going I kind of just planned out where we were going and the days would just fall naturally and it turns out we were in Queenstown Easter weekend. Which definitely is probably not ideal but we're here and it's beautiful and the weather is good so I am definitely not complaining. Bit of a tip, don't come to Queenstown on a public holiday. It goes on for miles. just held my breath there the entire time. Holy shit, that was terrifying. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. If I die, I love you all. Oh my god! Stop! Stop! I'm divorcing. Stop! I'm divorcing. Stop! Stop! 100 <laughs> 100% when we get back, I'm divorced. <laughs> It was pretty good, hey baby. Uh, James Roberts. God damn. See what I've got to live with in my entire life, like for the next however many years we live or he lives. That was so cool, highly recommended. An hour goes really fast, but super worth it. And we had a beautiful day, and now is the best time to do it, I reckon. They do have a candlelight package though, which I was going to do, but. I felt like I would prefer to see things rather than just be sitting in darkness. I wanted to see all of this. We have just got back to the campground, well not just, we've been here for probably like 20 minutes while I put my face on. Um, we're just having a beer before we go out for dinner. Not entirely sure where we're going to go yet. Um, but we're gonna sort of maybe even check out this nightlife, this famous nightlife that everybody talks about. Probably not, it's only 7 o'clock and we'll probably be back watching Netflix by 8.30 because we're just not that cool anymore. Um, but we'll see, <laughs> who knows. <laughs>
good morning this morning. Probably wasn't the best idea to drink as much as we did last night. <laughs> But we're up and they said it was supposed to be a rainy day, but it is definitely not a rainy day today. So we're going to go explore the town and I could really, really, really do a burger. So we may or may not try a food burger today. just got back to the camper um just gonna have a little bit of a rest and then go back out this afternoon once we get some energy back i was not sold on ferg burger it was very much very average like really average in fact like i think i'd prefer like a burger fuel burger over the ferg burger i don't know has anybody else kind of felt like this just had a wee nap and I'm feeling completely rejuvenated now. No more hangover. And it's not something that we had planned, um, but we have decided to go on a dinner cruise on the TSS Unslaw boat. So because I didn't get my blue sky mirror lake view of Milford Sound, that will certainly be this evening through Queenstown. Well, along Lake Wakatipu. And we also get to go well, they take us on a tour through a working farm, um, so we get to see some eggs. And then have apparently what is a delicious um, barbecue dinner. So that'll be really cool, I'm so excited for that. We kind of missed the sunset last night, well, we didn't really see it going down because we weren't really facing that way at Onsen, so hopefully on the cruise. It will be spectacular because the weather has definitely not been what the forecast said it was supposed to be, which is when we went um, for a walk around the town this morning. Um, I bought a piece of fudge from this shop here, apparently, it's quite famous, and none around the world. So, like I said, I got the um, I don't know if I said the Maltese flavour. And it is potentially one of the most delicious things I have ever put into my mouth. It is so yummy, so rich. So I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to eat it all at once. But this will probably keep me going for the rest of the trip if I feel like something sweet. It is so good. We are off down to the waterfront where we're going to jump on our boat. It's still a beautiful evening. I've used about four gigs of data, so I am no longer using data, so basically these are just going to all be saved, and I will upload them as soon as we get back. Because the data is fucking expensive with Spark. So, have a good night everyone! Bitte benutzen Sie die bereitgestellten Papierkörbe und füttern Sie die Vögel. Wenn Sie Fragen haben oder Hilfe benötigen, wenden Sie sich bitte an unser Personal. Dive Bay is the subdivision there on the right hand side, situated beneath the mountain there known as Ben Logan. I am assuming that that right there is where we're pulling in for dinner.
We just got back. It's bloody freezing. Um, that was super cool. That was so much fun. Um, probably if we could do it again, we'd probably go during the day just because obviously it got dark um, and the farm tour and stuff wasn't really, um, you didn't really see but it was so worth it. It was totally up James's alley because you could see like the steam engines working. <laughs> so I would highly recommend that um, for a little day out. Quite expensive, about I think it was 129 each. But that's obviously the cruise and lunch and then a farm tour which you guys saw. So basically they just share a sheep and they show a dog working with the sheep and all that kind of stuff. Good morning. We are up this early because this morning or today we are going to go and do the Ben Lumond, the Ben Lumond Peak Walk. So I wanted to get up nice and early this morning so we can kind of smash it out before it gets too late in the afternoon so we can finish exploring Queenstown as we want to because we head to Wanaka tomorrow. It is bloody freezing again this morning, um, so we're just having a nice hot coffee and some breakfast and then we'll pack our bag and then we'll leave. Also just remembered I didn't put the time, this is the time here. <laughs> we're like five minutes in. And I'm already fucked. And now I've got to do those. Holy shit. Holy shit, motherfucker. By the way, if you don't like swearing, I would stop watching these Snapchats today because today is going to be full of it. Probably about to be it anyway. That was the hardest almost three kilometers of my entire life. That pretty much just went straight up the freaking mountain. I suppose the view was worth it though. Not. <laughs> this little track that we've just done now literally just took us to the beginning of the next track that we're doing, which is also all uphill. Two hours and thirty minutes from here. All just one hour and 30 minutes to the saddle. <laughs> we are almost above the clouds and can almost see some shit. Maybe, hopefully. So that there is the saddle. And we're planning on walking right up there. Whew. How incredible is this? We're hoping all of that burns off by the time we're coming down so we can see Queenstown. It is going to be worth it. It is going to be worth it. This is Chanel's dying face. How are you feeling, Chanel? Rug off! <laughs> Why did we do this? <laughs> Chanel's struggling a little bit. me. 
It's okay. Holy shit, motherfucker. That was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Like, actually the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. But we made it. I wonder if I can just call a helicopter to come pick us up. 100% worth it though. Look at this view. I just want to get a picture of you down there too. Where? Like you were standing before. Oh, it is pretty safe to say that coming down is a squillion times easier and we're really lucky because the cloud over Queenstown is finally clearing. You go. You bro. Actually quite satisfying walking past all of the people that are going up just struggling probably not nearly as much as I did but still <laughs> it's quite funny actually cannot believe that I just climbed that thing like what you've got to be pretty fit to get up the top you can see how much I really struggled I would not have gone up if James didn't drag me up there So it turns out it's actually easier to run down than walk down. So that's what we're doing. Fuck. We've just walked, I mean ran all the way down. And now we need to go up this hill. Forgot about that. Oh yeah. We're nice and cool back in the forest, almost back at the skyline where we're just going to sit and have some lunch. Yep. Oh my god. We've finally come to the end. Oh, that bit was almost... As bad as going up. <laughs> it is pretty safe to say that I am probably not going to be able to walk for the next week because my legs are shaking like jelly. So it is now 1.30. We started at 8. It's five and a half hours. It's not bad considering they said it was going to take six, I suppose. Imagine how fast it would have been if I didn't bitch out most of the way up. <laughs> We are just headed out to get some lunch and we have to walk down. <laughs> We've just had a shower but I've already kind of like seized up. It's really hard. We have not eaten anything since breakfast this morning and I had a chocolate bar when we were up there. So I'm starving. I'm dying to like just dig into a big juicy bag. And some fries with loads of salt and tomato sauce. Mm. <laughs> We couldn't find a place for dinner that we agreed on, so we decided on curry as we usually do. But it was totally satisfying nonetheless, so we've just come back. We're probably just going to have a movie night tonight and just not go out because I just can't move. I'm just going to do some washing and all of that kind of stuff so we don't have to do that when we get to Wanaka tomorrow because I want to explore. Good morning! We are just about to leave Queenstown. Today we are headed um, to Wanaka, so we're going to Arrowtown and Kadrona um, on the way. So we're going to go gold panning and more than likely stop at the Kadrona Hotel for some lunch and then we go through to Wanaka. Not sure what we're going to do in Wanaka. Um, somebody mentioned Puzzling World um, apparently is quite good, so we might do that tomorrow. Um, but if you have any ideas of things for us to do in Wanaka, please let me know because I really have no idea. Oh, and by the way, I can move. Um, I'm not nearly as bad as I thought I was going to be. I feel like tomorrow is going to be the worst day though. Maybe. Hopefully not. Look at the colours. I don't know if you guys can see very well, but it's so beautiful. We've just got to Arrowtown now.
this is why autumn is 100% my favorite season. How pretty is this? I wish there was someone here in Auckland that looked like this. Such a cool little town. Another town, another pie. This is so pretty. Heaps of Chinese people. Yeah, well, there's a place called Chinatown, isn't there? Oh, no, true, like shit. Fill it right up and then stir it because you want to wash all that mud out. You want to wash the stones clean. The gold's mixed in with the mud, so it separates. This removes the stones off the top only yeah. without disturbing the ones underneath. Yeah. Nice and gently. We never need to win the lotto after today, eh, but you're going to find us some gold. <laughs> A big nugget. <laughs> Come on. No gold yet, unfortunately. Looks like we're coming back to the Ville. We didn't hit the jackpot, unfortunately. <laughs> we didn't find nada. Time to go to the Cadrona Hotel and have a beer to drink our sorrows away. Look at this, it's so pretty! We made it to Controna! It's super cute! <laughs> So we've just had lunch, I couldn't really Snapchat because we bumped into the chicks that we met on the Space Brewery tour and they would have thought I was an absolute dick. Which, let's be honest, I kind of am Snapchatting. I'm kind of fine doing it in public now, just not in front of people like as we're sitting down eating, I suppose. That was really yummy. It was super cute as well. I'm so glad we stopped. Now we are headed to Wanaka. Hello, Wanaka. Probably the last video is going to ever exist, ever, in the entire universe. <laughs> Another stunner campground. We've got so lucky with the weather. So pretty! So this is actually a place called Glendu Bay. This was recommended to us by James's grandparents to stay. So it's about a five minute 
drive from the main Wanaka town centre, but it's so much nicer, so nice and quiet, and the views are still beautiful. Here we are, doing what we do best. <laughs> Skipping rocks, eh, babe? Just the one. <laughs> Bug. I, I just, he didn't bloody, wait then if you want me to get your epic friggin' rock throw. Oh, I've got to find another good rock. He did two real epic ones, <laughs> but then couldn't do it again, so unfortunately I didn't get Snapchat proof of his epic rock skipping. So it turns out this video easy um, is actually closing down, so we've come in thinking that we were going to rent one, but we're just going to buy a couple really cheap DVDs. So I've just gone and bought those DVDs thinking we were going to watch a DVD tonight. But turns out my Mac doesn't have a friggin' CD reader in it. Good one, Chanel. You guys, I am currently standing outside looking at these stars, taking photos of them. Oh my god, there's so many. It looks super shit and I cannot wait to upload these pictures. But that right there, oh, is a Milky Way. I'm actually losing my mind. Like this is just like, like total like. Oh my god, there's so many stars. This is what I mean about I come for the sights, and I have never ever 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 seen stars like this. This is so cool, guys. So I've just got up and seen that gorgeous sunrise. And I've just pulled James out of bed and put clothes on because I'm going to go photograph the tree. <laughs> James doesn't get it. Literally every man and his dog is down here and he's like, what the fuck? It's just a tree. <laughs> it's kind of sad though because it looks really cool if it's like a high water level and it's actually coming out of the water. But it's quite low at the moment, which is kind of sad. Like actually there are so many people feeding over this tree. I've got to push them all out the way. So that was actually really disappointing. It is nowhere near as cool as it would be if it was totally underwater because it's kind of just a tree that's growing normally, which James is just like, what the fuck? He doesn't get it. But I think I got a few okay photos, I guess, but nowhere near as good as it would have been if it was underwater. Another town. Another pie. <laughs> good morning, Wanaka. Unfortunately, we have decided to love and leave this place because it is very much similar to um, kind of what we did in Queenstown. So really, there's only some shops here and we've kind of blown the budget, so we can't really do anything. So instead, we have basically just decided to bump one day up of our schedule um, and we're going to go spend a night in Hokitaka as well instead. So today we are going to do the Blue Pools walk and drive up to Franz Joseph where we'll stay for the night and go to the Hot Pools there. And then tomorrow morning we go on a quad bike tour in Franz Joseph and then we'll go to Hokitika and stay a night. And then on Friday instead of staying at a freedom camp we are going to go stay with my friend Paula in Christchurch for the night and meet her new kitty. I've just got to the Blue Pools walk and I'm still struggling with walking. <laughs> I still hurt so bad. Another one of these damn swing bridges. Look at all these. road is so steep that sometimes vehicle like brakes don't work so that's what you're supposed to go out with if for any reason your brakes stop working <laughs>
have just woken up and I've just made a coffee. It's freezing again. Um, we're off on our quad tour today and it's a gorgeous day so I'm so excited. James just said he's probably going to kill me. Um, but after that we're going to do a bit of greenstone carving. James has always had an interest in um, sort of carving things. He made me a necklace for our first Valentine's Day out of wood. It was a little heart and then he, when he was down here last time on the boys trip, he got a stone from um, the Franz Joseph River and made one for his nan for Christmas. So this is something that he's wanted to do, so I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to watch him. Um, so we're going to do that after and then we have to Hokitika, so super excited for that. Is there anything to do in Hokitika? Like what are good spots to eat, is there anything that we have to see, um, all that kind of stuff. If you know Hokitika, let me know please. Also, in case you missed it, I'm not sure if all of you guys follow me on Instagram or Facebook, um, I put my picture that I took of the stars up the other night, so go have a look. We are off on our quad tour, and there is not a cloud in the sky. I've made a friend. His name is Rascal. Say hi, Rascal. <laughs> just got back from the quad tour and oh my god it was so much fun i got covered in mud look at how dirty the gopro is that's pretty much how dirty i was there was only us two and then another two like they were a pair of um i'm just gonna say asian people and they bailed they rolled it real bad but they're actually quite good like they got back on and went real hard for the rest of it so it was actually quite cool like it, James enjoyed it a little bit more than what he thought he was going to I think and the chick who sort of took us on it was real cool she sort of didn't pussy around she went quite fast which made it real fun so that was definitely worth it we got some cool pictures as well which is going to email through to me so yeah totally worth it I think I'm going to move to the South Island just because they know how to make a mean burger. <laughs> And that's the finished product. Pretty cool. Hey. <laughs> so we just spent three hours carving James's stone. Well, I was supervised. Obviously, I didn't carve it. I wasn't supervised. And we are now off to Hokitika, where we are going to check out the beach and find somewhere to eat and check into our campground um one of you messaged me saying that we should go to gloria vale apparently gloria vale is in between franz joseph and Hoka oh no sorry is in between Greymouth and hokitika but it's more inland so unfortunately we're not actually going to have time to do that as much as i would love to go and check out gloria vale not sure it's a place we can just waltz into though but it would have been cool to at least drive fast but yeah we're not going to have time to do that so straight to hokitika made it to Hokitika and it is beautiful and the tide is coming in so quickly time for some beers for our last 
pretty much night travelling on our little roadie and pretty sad.